So this is Counting Caterpillar and the learning objective is to um, order non-consecutive numbers using your place value not understanding. So I can see here that this one's got uh, two tens, uh, that one's four tens, uh, this one's seven tens and now it's interesting, Look, they've both got nine tens but let's have a look at um, the ones, the units, that one's first and then that one. But if, if I, let me just get it wrong, I'll show you, you can put them in the wrong order, um, oops and you can just drag them off, swap them around, put them back. And then uh, the caterpillar eats all the leaves if you got it right, and he turns into a little chrysalis um, and, and changes into a butterfly. You've got a little book called Butterfly Basics. And then um, uh, it uses the same range over and over again. So if you leave it, there we go, there's another set of numbers based on the same range. Here's where you set the number range. So I'm gonna start at 10, any number between 10 and 210, or I can have really large numbers, um, or I can have consecutive numbers, so 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, if I wish. So let's untick that, have those again. Let's see these these big numbers, let me see, show you those. Here we go, this is interesting, there's no thousands here. I'm using my place value now. Uh, there's 1,000 there. Uh, this is quite an easy one, actually, 3,000. They're randomly generated. There we go. Press go, and that's it. So again, once that finishes, it'll give me another set of numbers within the same number range that I chose just now. So if I just hang on, there it comes. So I was hoping there'd be a, a particular, oh, here we go, there's quite a good one here. So there's 2,000 here and 2,000 here. They're the lowest numbers, but that one's got 300s and that's got no hundreds, so that must be first. And then what's next? Well, this is gonna be the 4,000. But now, here we go, look, there's two 5,000 numbers here, that one's got no hundreds, that one's got eight hundreds, and there we go, and that's it, have fun.